In early 17th century, Shiner used reflection of marbles from the cornea as perhaps the earliest corneal topography. Placido's disc was a major advancement in the late 19th century. Placido disc has stood the test of time and the current Placido-based topographers work on the same principle of assessing the reflection of a concentric set of black and white rings from the convex anterior surface of the cornea. Recent advances in the technology use scanning slit methods for assessment of elevation data and incorporation of distortion-free Scheimflug photography techniques. Corneal topography is most commonly used for the following purposes. Refractive surgery, to screen candidates for normal corneal shape patterns and ruling out suspicious or keratoconic patterns. Post-operatively, topography can help to assess the dioptric change created at corneal level, thus the effective change in the cornea, ruling out discentered or incomplete ablation, post-eczema ectasia or other changes. Keratoconus, early screening of keratoconus suspects is one of the most useful roles of topography. Early keratoconus and suspects look normal on slit lamp examination, and the central keratometry 3 mm gives only a limited assessment. Therefore topography has become the gold standard in screening keratoconus suspects. In cases with established keratoconus, the role of topography is paramount for monitoring progression and doing a timely collagen cross-linking, and in contact lens fitting. Post-surgery astigmatism, post-cataract surgery and post-keratoplasty corneal astigmatism can be studied with the topographer and selective suture removal or other interventions can be planned. Surgical planning in cases with astigmatism, limbal relaxing incisions and other methods of topography guided incision placement are used by surgeons to reduce post-operative astigmatism. Effect of corneal and ocular surface disorders, disorders such as pterygium, limbal dermoid, localized corneal scars can cause a change in the corneal topography and thus the monitoring is very useful. Other uses, contact lens fitting, incision placement and intrastromal ring placement in keratoconus, monitoring of ocular versus corneal wavefront. Corneal topography uses three of the principles including Placido disc reflection, scanning slit, and Scheimflug photography.